Hello? 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 <laughs> Lately you just remembered that I need my headphones. But I'm here. We're here. Everything's good, right? Yes. <laughs> me? Ish. I think so. <laughs> so far? Not so good, but we're still here. We're hanging in there. <laughs> Trying Welcome. to. Welcome. Hi, everybody. Hi. Welcome to the Mental Breakdown Podcast. <laughs> no. Really? Yes. Yes. <laughs> it's going to be a good, 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 good show. We have lots of content prepared for you guys today. It's all about yes. spooky TikToks. It's supposed to yes. scare the shit out of you. So you better go change your pants. Bring up your change your pants. <laughs> You're gonna get scared. <laughs> I, no, I, I thought about turning the lights off, but I don't want to get too dark. I know. We'll, we'll I save that like, for the gaming. I hate how <laughs> reflecty this is, but um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, yeah. Let's just jump right in. Let's dive I'm about in. To dive in. I'm about to dive in. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is the Two Ghouls Podcast. We're your hosts, Sam and Katie. If you're new here, we're two cousins. It used to be two best friends. I almost said that. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> Looking to read our weekly listeners some scary true stories surrounding terrifying paranormal experiences or real life run-ins. In short, we're your weekly source of scared shitless. Am I being too loud? No. Good. If being utterly <laughs> petrified by fear is your thing, you have come to the right place. And if you're returning, hello again, ghoul friend. Uh, we're so glad that you decided to come back for more disturbingly good content. It sounds like we've got a good relationship going here. We hope that if you're enjoying our content, you'll help to sustain future episodes and financially provide us the opportunity to bring you even better content by shopping on our merch site, which we have linked in the description below today. Or you could become a monthly patron of this podcast. So you could subscribe to the podcast and you would be financially supporting us for as low as 99 cents, four ninety nine, dollars or as high as $9.99. Whichever price you use, uh, you choose, your patronage will be used to help bring you even better episodes, interesting guests like we've had before, greater quality, and more. You can find the link to that in the description of this live or by visiting the link on my Instagram account at hello.spooky. Yes. Yes. Disclaimer, we are extremely aware of the fact that we are discussing real life instances with real people. It is something that we are very sensitive to. Please understand our commitment to respecting the human beings involved in these stories. If commenting or interacting with any episode or our social media, slander of any kind regarding the people, whether they be anonymous or not, will not be tolerated. Keep your opinions respectful or don't share them at all. Mm -hmm. It's that simple remember oh remember to give trigger warnings yes I'm, I'm, yes thank you self <laughs> descriptive supposedly true stories centering around gory real life topics paranormal encounters and or anything surrounding extremely descriptive true narratives involving terror murder sexual interactions mental health anything violent or potentially i screwed this up literally it's okay <laughs> We are messer uppers here. <laughs> yeah, for real. Uh, mental health, anything violent or potentially cruel in nature, we suggest that you get the fuck out. This yeah. podcast is not for you. You have been warned. You have. Uh, <laughs> do you want to talk about merch or you want to save that for the end? We can. It's up to you. Mm, let's wait till the end. Okay. Let's just jump you right in. You go first. Oh, I want to see want what, me to go what, first. what you've Ooh. got prepared. And Sam's okay. got tons of links for us today. Um, I have like this much, <laughs> but I have games. I brought games this time. So I'm excited. Um, so I think I'm going to start with like one of the several part ones, if that's okay with you. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. And actually, okay. Let me share my screen. All right. Hello. Here's, here's our Google doc. <laughs> Ooh, la, la. Let me know if you can see it. I can. Are you are you sharing sound? Ooh, let me check. Ooh, do cry I... me a river. <laughs> let me screen share. Oh, I wasn't an optimized for video clip. Okay, here we go. Oh la la. So I'm actually gonna. Oh shoot! It won't let me clicky. Oh, it's because I'm editing. <laughs> That's why. That's why. I wouldn't have guessed They're viewing. that. viewing. Okay. Why you know? Let me click. Oh, there we go. All right. Okay. So, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. 
Oh, we actually showed this clip on the YDFU podcast, but this is one of the scariest TikToks that I have ever seen because I feel like everybody has had this fear. Like everybody has imagined this happening in their head at some point. Okay. And this actually happened to this person. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and play it. I'm interested. I'm intrigued. Oh my god, she scared the shit out of me. <laughs> yeah, she's terrified. But also, yeah, she scared me the first time I saw it too. Hello? What? Oh my oh, god. <laughs> remembered it when he went down the stairs because that that stairwell is hard to forget <laughs> that's so fucking scary. freaking scary so i actually went through this person's um tiktok account and they have a lot more videos the thing is is that the only thing that they ever post is paranormal stuff mm-hmm. but um so i don't know if it's real that video, that first one that I showed you is freaking scary. That's terrifying. The and, sound of them running up the steps was like, mm. right. It's and it's like hurts. literally coming right at you. Mm. This video is um, basically he pulls up a picture that he took. Uh, it was actually a screenshot from a video that he took. He pulls it up in Photoshop to show that it's not Photoshopped. And then he brightens it. And I also muted it because music. This is a photo, a screenshot that he took from a video pointing down his hallway. And that's his room. Ew. Ew. And when he zooms in, you can tell that it's not photoshopped. Oh, oh God. Ew. You can see the ear. (gasps) Oh, my God. Oh, I feel like I'm screaming into the mic. Oh, my God. Ew, how is that even possible? Ooh, oh, my I got, God. I got goosebumps. Ugh, <laughs> God damn. You know, can I just say, it's really hard to convince me of TikToks that are true. And right. that one really freaked me out. <laughs> That's like Kent Burris shit right there. <laughs> yes, because you can see that it's not edited. Like, it's not like somebody superimposed it and inserted that. Um, that like shadow figure standing there because you'd be able to see something around the outline of the person, but there's nothing there. I'm like looking at it again on the live chat. Like I'm watching it. <laughs> Creepy. Oh fucking God. Ew. All right. Okay. Next. Do... So this is from the same person. Oh, I have it muted. Hold on. I have to unmute this one. So he, this person has two dogs. And something is outside with one of the doggy squeaky toys. <laughs> this is them like sleeping in their bedroom. Uh, you see that thing under the door? Yeah. Oh my God. It's literally right outside their bedroom door. Oh, and the dog, dog was door. right there. Oh my yes. God. Dog's like, yo, it's not me. <laughs> Sage the house and it's still oh. happening. <laughs> Ugh, I hate it. It's creepy. The squeaking is funny to me. I mean, yeah, but if you. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, Look, God. there's the toy. There's the toy right there. Something was standing outside oh squeaking God. at trying to like get the doggies. Oh. Ew. I have several um, several videos from the same person. Wow. Oh my God. They have lots of fancy life fixtures. That spirit wants their attention. Holy shit. Oh, yeah. They need to do like an investigation. <gasps> oh, my God. I keep getting goosebumps. <laughs> Is 
stay away. The dog's name is Kevin. The dog's name is Kevin. (laughs) (laughs) Kevin, stay away. (laughs) I love it when people name their dogs or their cats something that's like clearly like like one of our cats' names is Bob. (laughs) I know, and I love it. (laughs) Okay, let's see. Oh my God. Bullshit again. Uh, you could see like a shadow go across the floor too with the footsteps. <gasps> oh my god. <gasps> oh my <I> god. <laughs> I, like I watched this captions. already and it still scared me. <laughs> his captions like going into the weekend like <laughs> that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. So this is the last one from this same creator. Okay. There's Kevin. Kevin. <gasps> Not again. And <laughs> the caption it says either it's baiting me to come down the stairs or it's challenging me to a game of ping pong. <laughs> At least they can make fun of it. Because <laughs> you hear how it sounds like a ping pong ball like <laughs> going across the floor. Uh. Yeah. Why did he go down that the random street? basement door? Ugh. What the fuck? <gasps> oh. Uh. oh, the dog's Kevin. growling. <laughs> Calm down, Kevin. It's okay. Kevin. That's the thing oh. that kind of makes me believe that it's real is like the dog growling. And there's another video on his um, on his TikTok channel that's like, hmm, that's weird. My dog's never growled at me before. Hmm. Also, my mom in the comments of the YouTube video says, Boo. <laughs> 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 uh, do you want me to keep going or you want to do one? I want to show you one. Okay. I forgot about this video and I've watched the actual. Um, Wait a minute before I get ahead of myself. <laughs> I, I'm going to get ahead of myself if I don't stop. So give me a second. Okay. We're going to screen share. My Google Chrome. Good evening. <laughs> How's it I coming know. up on your screen? Does it look okay? Does Perfect. Look- yeah, it looks good. Okay. This is an interview <gasps> of a man. Have you seen this? I have seen this. Oh I've wanted God. to talk about this guy. Did you I watch wanted- the interrogation? I don't know if I watched the interrogation, but I've watched oh. like a YouTube documentary about this guy. This guy is nuts. Yeah. But okay. Tell me about it. Context- Let's watch it. Before you guys watch it, I know Sam's seen it, but like this guy, he's acting innocent, but he's not. He killed a woman that lived in his apartment complex, wherever. He was obsessed with her. She didn't want to go out with him, and he killed her and dumped her in a trash can near the apartment. He chopped her up too. Yeah. Yeah. Real nice. And well, while they found out that she was missing, they like interviewed the people that were living around there and he was acting all innocent. And then they told them, told him that they found the body. And that's when you notice his demeanor just changes. Yes. Yeah. I love this interview. This is a good one, Katie. Good yeah. job. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like oh, I've yeah. seen it, but like, this is a good one. I agree. Hold on. Let me make sure it's in full screen. I don't need this open. Yes, I do. That's a lie. <laughs> it's missing they like interviewed the people that were living around there and what he the was fuck? acting all in oh, and then they told him, told oh it's because you, you need to pause guys. like the or mute the yeah mute the live sorry there you go did it go then i'll put this on mute mute i need to remind myself to cut this out time stamp <laughs> Time stamp. Time stamp. All right. I think I cut that off. 
Sounds yeah. like it. That was so freaking weird. Okay. Now right, we're good. Here we go. Here we go. Reported missing in June of 2011. Reporter Michelle Casada found him standing outside the apartment building where he and Giddings had lived and that we now know was the scene of the crime. He talks about joining Giddings' friends to look for his law school classmate and how they entered her apartment to see if there was anything wrong. It was also the first time McDaniel found out that a portion of Lauren Giddings' body had been recovered by police from the dumpster where he had put it. Knowing now that McDaniel had murdered and dismembered Giddings, the interview provides a glimpse inside the mind of a killer as he builds his story and his alibi. Take a look. The person that was living there? Yeah, Lauren was my neighbor. Um, we're just trying to find out where she is at this point. I mean, no one has seen her since Saturday. I mean, the last time anyone heard from her was an email that she sent out, and I mean, no one's heard from her since. And did you see her hang out with anyone at the time or anything like that? I mean, no, no, no one has seen her since Saturday. I haven't seen anything. I mean, you always hear noise outside, but it's just people walking by pretty much. And you, uh, she just recently graduated from Mercer? Yeah, she and I, were, we were both JD students. Um, we graduated back in May. What kind of person was she? I mean, how did you, what did you see her? I mean, she's as nice as can be. I mean, very personable, very much a people person. Do you know anybody that, any enemies she might have had, somebody that might want to hurt her? No, I mean, we're, we don't know where she is. I mean, the only thing we can think is that maybe she went out running and someone snatched her. Because, I mean, we went, at, we went over, one of her friends had a key, we went inside and tried to see if there was anything amiss, but, I mean, she had a door jam that was sitting right by it, so there was no sign that anyone broke in. I mean, the door was locked when everyone got here. I mean, we, we just don't know where she is. I mean, what about um, in the, like, the parking lot area? I know they've been doing a lot of, I think that's where they have recovered the body or whatever they recovered from there. Body? Um, had you heard, any, had you seen anything there? Had you seen anything there? I, I mean, we don't know if this is the same person. You know what I mean? Like, they took out a body there earlier. We don't know if it's the same mm -hmm. person. Or not. So that's how we're trying to ask people if they know who lived there. Are you okay, sir? I think I need to sit down. Okay. Mm, I think you do too. Yeah. Bitch. <laughs> you need to sit down in fucking prison. That's where yeah. He's yeah. That's where he's at now. But, um, oh, I hate, like, ugh. Not to bring up Chris Watts again because, ugh. No, oh, please. Piece of bring garbage. Him up. He's a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> but you see how like calm and consistent and it's like he's gone over this shit in his head. What's that noise? Do you hear that? Just, what is that? I fucking fixed it. Oh, <laughs> having a lot of technical issues. Sorry. <laughs> That's OK. Um, you can tell that he's like gone over this shit in his head and he's so calm and he very obviously thinks that he's going to get away with it and that's why he's just like oh he's she's like, very she's personable so very person. outgoing yeah. great person blah 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 and bitch. then <laughs> and then oh body oh a body i need to sit down which i mean i don't know i guess that's a normal reaction to be like oh god like if i heard that i found one of my friends bodies or something or they found them. yeah i feel like i would need to sit down but it's yeah. just really creepy knowing that what we know now because he did do it yeah fucked up yeah i fucked agree up. well and the thing was is that from what i understand about that case is that he wasn't like friends with her he was just no. stalking her yes he was he just happened to live in the same apartment complex as her and have to go to school with her at college it wasn't like it was like high school or something right so Gross. i've known creepy dudes like that but that that that's never happened to me that's <laughs> another level yeah. scary that's really fucking scary anyway, all right well, go i guess next? i'm gonna do one or do you want to do another one no your turn your oh. turn me turn oh gosh okay hello kevin <laughs> <laughs> all right let's see Okay, let's do this one. And I captioned it, finger broken by a ghost. So watch this hand that's holding the kitty cat. 
<gasps> yeah. How did that happen? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> so weird. Oh, oh wait, my oh, wait, God. wait. I just realized something. There it. Okay. See this pinata thing right here? Yeah. There is like a thing on TikTok that this, I didn't see this when I originally posted it. Mm -hmm. There was a guy who like had a pinata shop and his pinata shop was haunted. Oh and my God. this pinata right here was the cause of it. There's another video of a girl who bought said pinata and got dragged across the room. But I... I don't know how real it was. That's right. why I didn't, I didn't put it here, but this pinata is in the back of where she got like dragged. Wow. I didn't see this That's here until literally just now. explanation. <laughs> yeah. I didn't see here. that there until just now. Huh. I want to watch it again because like, look, he's just holding his kitty cat and then boom. How the hell? Oh my God. You can also see the cat like is getting kind of feisty right before it happens. Their tail starts wiggling in that way that's like mm, kind of want to bite you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, but that's Very so weird. Strange. The cat totally did not even do that. Like, watch his finger move. Ugh. What the fuck? Oh my god, I hate that. Isn't that so weird? creepy oh my god yeah i don't even know what to say about that strange all right let's do this one weird weird That's weird you hear it? so anyways i'm just i'm gonna mute this just in case since there's like music playing in the background it's probably okay. um royalty free but i'm just gonna make sure he says that he's recording this for his wife so his wife believes him that's oh. basically it now he's going down the stairs. <gasps> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no, Oh, my no. God. Isn't that creepy here? I mean, he goes, whoo. <laughs> he's like, you coming down the stairs? <laughs> I'm changing. <laughs> Don't I'm changing. Change. Don't look. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if I can Oh, my God. It. Oh, of course, the play button's right there. There's like this thing that peeks out. Uh, yeah, and I saw it. Oh, oh God, ew. I hate that. <laughs> and his response is, I'm just going to run down there. Weird. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, this one is cool, but also creepy. I feel like Joey would appreciate this one. Okay. Oh, right. he would. So, yeah. <laughs> so apparently this is what it would look like if the sun exploded. This sun exploded. Oh, hold on. I don't know if that's covered <laughs> or not. Oh my God. Isn't that scary? That's so scary to think that could happen at any point. It really could. It could. And it would take literally just a couple seconds probably Ugh. for us to just be like boof oh my god i'd be curious to hear what joey has to say about this he'd probably end up on a tangent I'm very curious we'll have to come <laughs> back to that video i think he's gonna be home soon okay yeah that one was scary because Wait. the thought of it is like it could happen it could it could happen at any freaking point and to see it from Earth would be terrifying. Absolutely. Ooh. All right. Do you want to pick one since you can see my list? You want to pick I can one? Barely see it. Oh. Does it say "eat ass ghost"? <laughs> it, says, it says "cat sees ghost." <laughs> it literally looks one. like it says "eat sass ghost." <laughs> eat ass ghost. Uh. <laughs> Like, yeah. and two, if you could just tell that she something seemed really off. It wasn't a curious, like, oh, I heard a noise and I'm just going to look around. It was like, there's something around. Why is he sitting up paranoid. like that? <laughs> Keep your eyes that. on the hallway to the right. That also looks like Bobby. So it's freaking weird. <laughs> oh, look, there's a shadow. <laughs> Not the cat. Watch again. <laughs> As a tall, yes. human-like shadow passes <laughs> by the bedroom door. Yeah, if I was that the ghost, I'd be like, sit down. <laughs> 
are Justin's two Show cats. Sit down. Then, Justin's other cat, Calvin. Calvin the is corner. this other cat. She checks things out. <laughs> Hello, Calvin. <laughs> Animal name. Just as he enters the bedroom, a table near the camera moves. Moves. And the door closes. <laughs> And the cats are trapped. I could just tell by the look on her face. One, she's on her hind legs. And two, you could just tell oh, she's. The end. I can't. I can't take this seriously. Calvin notices the <laughs> My guinea pig's name was Calvin. Oh, really? And he hated broccoli. And every time we gave him food that he didn't like, he would take him into his house, into his little plastic hut. And then he would like five minutes later put ever which food he didn't like outside of it as if he was like, no, thank you. <laughs> and then it was That's funny. Yeah. Do you want to do one? I do. Okay. I'm going to run to the bathroom. Okay. Okay. I'm Take your time. My bladder. I've been chugging water. I've been so thirsty lately. I don't know if it's because like I've been having allergy stuff, but yeah. like I, you know, those hospital cups they give you when you have a baby, those like giant I ones. I don't know. I've been chugging them. <laughs> Yeah. they always fill me up yes I so i will be right Thank back i apologize no live way. stream i always end up peeing in the middle of the show so <laughs> <laughs> why am i always tangled up in the wires uh, excuse me Okay. okay. Don't judge and me. I'm wearing Danny back. sweatpants. I'm, like <laughs> I'm wearing booty shorts. No worries. Listen, that's there's no in between for me. It's booty shorts or Danny's pants or I know. I, know. I used to nothing. wear Joey's pants, but now I just wear Joey shirts all the time. Like I don't <laughs> I don't wear my shirts. It's just Joey shirts. Right now I'm wearing minivan mega fun. They're so cozy. I love Joey what shirts. is it about their freaking clothes that are so cozy? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so this video is gonna be a bear running after a man oh, and he got no. he gets have you ever seen this video i don't think so i've seen oh. the one on the mountain like the guy snowboarding and getting chased by oh, a bear no yeah i've seen that one this one scares the shit out of me because the bear gets so close um oh, God. i'm gonna show you two videos so this is the first one this is gonna make me anxious <laughs> oh i got one for that too <laughs> oh boy right, let me turn on the sound for this this is as real as it gets. Oh, You'll gosh. see him in a second. There oh, he is. shit. Oh, hell no. <laughs> <He's> like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I want to go for a bike ride, too. <laughs> oh, my God. Sir, if you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. <laughs> Sir. Oh, the bear's Jehovah Witness. Sir. <laughs> <laughs> Sir. <laughs> <gasps> it's a fear. Oh my god. I hate it. Thanks, I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I hate it. <laughs> also, the videos of people biking on these super narrow trails, those make me anxious in itself. Oh, Both. I know. Look at this. Oh no! <laughs> oh, he hopped off. Did he hop off his bike? I don't even know. He's on Why foot. Why did you do that? There was oh, a stick in the part. in the way. Bro. Oh. <gasps> oh, he heard the bear heard, heard gunshots. Truth or a lie? I don't know, but it's still fucking scary. It's whatever it is, it's scary. It's still scary. This is another video of an animal 
this is a really fucking scary video. I don't know where it was. I feel like it might have been in a place like Hawaii because the water is like super blue and people are always kayaking out there on the islands. But an orca was coming through and you'll see. Those things are mean. Yeah. Watch the kayaker. There he is. And he ended up being just fine. How? I don't fucking know. He lived to tell the tale. I couldn't Those tell you. Those workers are so damn mean. They're I feel dangerous. like they do stuff like that just to be assholes. Mm-hmm. Hold on. I, got, I still got videos playing. But um, yeah. Oh, my God. That video scares the shit out of me. Well, and then there's also like that video of the, uh, what is it, like a seal or an otter that's like trying to swim away from the so orca. Videos like that. Yeah. That's their primary food source is this. Right. Or whatever. Yeah. They're mm. mean. Meanies. Your turn. Okay. Your turn. Something I hope seemed you- really Hello, <laughs> Not <laughs> Kelvin. <laughs> I hope you and guys are hello words. I hope you guys are enjoying how like laid back this. Um, yeah, episode we're very is. chill this time. It's not. Yeah. It feels nice. Let's like see. a nice breather. Let's do. Okay, so I'm gonna give a little bit of a background story. Oh, hello, no, no, thanks. I'm gonna give a little bit of a background on this. So this is either a clip from security footage of the actual situation or a remake of the clip of an actual situation. Okay. So there was these two went out on like a tender date or like a bumble date or something. Okay. And he, this guy right here takes her out on a date and then says, let's go get a hotel room. She's like, okay. And I'm going to play it. I muted it. So they're going up on the elevator and then boom, next shot of him on the elevator is with a suitcase. So this is either a remake or the actual footage. I'm not 100% sure, but this did happen, whether it's a remake or not. But apparently they were doing the thing and he got too carried away with choking her and killed her. Oh my and then God. he stuffed her into a suitcase. Mm. Isn't that crazy? How scary is that? So this really, really, really happened. Yeah. Whether this is like, like the actual video, footage yeah. or not, this did happen. Holy fucking shit. Which is just like, this is why I, I could never meet somebody just off of the internet. You're never going to find me meeting somebody on a, like, even before I was with Danny or anything. I'm never going to match up with somebody on a dating app and then just like meet them out in public. Yeah. It, I'm good. It's so freaking dangerous that I'm never going to do it. I'm good. Like I'm real appeal, good. Off but of like, you really got to think about it in terms of reality. Like really, who you don't is know on the anybody. Phone? You don't know. You could talk to them for Period. months and months and months over the phone, but you still don't know who they are. I don't know. Wow. Here, here's a, a funny one. i thought that this was so funny (laughs) especially like with how scared he looks he's like oh my god this is terrifying and then he's like "Mm, ghost twerking get it camouflage (laughs) This is great. I thought that this would be funny and just like <laughs> lighthearted. He's like, <laughs> off. Oh God, there's the cat again. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh my God. All right, let's do this one. The guy live streams his death. Mm. Live streamed part four trigger warning. I guess it can't be helped for the last words that this man ever said. 
This streamer who goes by the name Ted Su was known to make poor choices for the sake of more viewers and this incident was no different. He decided to climb the 12,388-foot hostile Mount Fuji in the dead of winter without any mm. proper gear, gloves, or scents. It is strongly encouraged to only make this climb in the summer months. Throughout the video, you hear the man talking about his fingers freezing and whether or not he will even make it all while he struggles to climb up through the hardened snow. He refuses mm. to stop filming even though it's making it more difficult. Just before he makes it to the summit, he says, okay, let's go. It's also dangerous here. In the next instant, he slips on the ice, loses his footing, and begins sliding down the steep, almost cliff-like mountain. He picks up more and more speed in his fall. He knew he was about to die and simply states, I guess it can't be helped, before disappearing from view. Turns out that he chose Whoa. the wrong path to get to the top. Without gear and skill, he didn't stand a chance. The most horrifying thing to shit. ever be- is it well, how is scary? How the fuck was he live streaming on top of Mount Fuji? I don't know. What you can fuck? literally see in the background. He's above the clouds. Yeah. What the hell? I don't know. Don't I, I think this guy must have had like a death oxygen wish. oxygen mask up there? This is crazy. What a dumbass. I don't know. I don't know. No. I know the altitude is ridiculous and you probably have to go through training where you're like slowly acclimating yourself to the oxygen. And yeah, different that's what altitudes. I've heard. At least on Mount Everest, which I know is not the tallest. I think, isn't it Mount Fuji is the tallest? Or is that or Kilimanjaro? Like Kilimanjaro, I think, yeah. Okay, yeah. Still. Either that way, it's freaking was above huge. the fucking clouds. I mean, like, <laughs> he's like, no, oh, I got a live stream. Do it for the vine. <laughs> it, it doesn't sound like he cared when he's just like, yeah, it's well, dangerous over here. Let's go over there. I guess, I guess if you're going to go out, that's probably the way you're going to go out as an awesome person. I guess. Yes. And then you're just like, mm, died on live stream. Mm. Well, I can't help it. Gang, gang. <laughs> Yeah, I feel that. <laughs> anyway. All right. My turn. Your turn. My turn. All right. Going to Google. This turn. is fun. This is fun. This is I feel fun. like this is literally just us in our DMs sending um, each other TikToks. Let's see. I'm going to save that one for later. So I'm not going to screen share this. Give me a second. Okay. Sharing is paused. Okay. So. I'm going to look and see if we got anything. Yeah, man. No, no. All right, preview copy of Facebook. No, that's not what I want to do. Brenna said that she's here. Hi, Brenna. Hi, Brenna. Hi, Aunt Vicky. I uh, love you guys. So glad you're here. <laughs> My mom was like, hey, boo boo, where's the picnic basket? I guess talking <laughs> about the bear video. <laughs> hey, boo boo. <laughs> He's like running away. <laughs> All right. I'm going to show you a series of pictures. Oh, boy. Ignore this. Ignore the fuck out of this. <laughs> Excuse my language, guys. I feel awkward. Nah, I love it. Here. I love it. <laughs> All right. All right. Give me a second. I gotta, I gotta, 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 gotta squeeze this over. Oh my God. <laughs> what is <laughs> this? is me in the morning. <laughs> Dehydrated chihuahua. <laughs> this was me while I was pregnant. <laughs> okay. Just laid out. What does it look like to you? A dehydrated chihuahua. <laughs> literally a dehydrated chihuahua <laughs> with three arms okay is that your last guess <laughs> oh hold on let, let me look Even let me more. let me let me zoom in for you oh shall we let's let's get a closer look at this guy oh what is that oh my god what is that <laughs> what is that, oh, what is, that? <laughs> <laughs> is it like a bat look at its feet <laughs> I don't I'm know. It's either thing. like a chihuahua or a bat. <laughs> All right. You ready? Those are my two guesses. A chihuahua or a bat. All right. Yeah. I got this from um, the internet. I uh, will find oh, the boy. article and link it in the description <laughs> below. The creepy photo of the mutated piglet from <gasps> Chernobyl. It's a piglet. <laughs> From the Chernobyl? Chernobyl disaster of April 26, 1986 in Pripyat, Pripyat, Ukraine, remains the most catastrophic nuclear accident in history. Although the Chernobyl exclusion zone slowly seems to be returning to semi-hospitable conditions for wildlife, the animals who inhabited the area in the late 1980s weren't as lucky. This piglet on display at the Ukrainian National Chernobyl Museum in Kyiv is a prime example. Labeled simply as mutated piglet. The creature was born with dipagus, a congenital deformity that causes the body to fork left and right along the torso and the pelvis and legs to duplicate. 
Nearly 40 years later, this animal is a stark reminder of the havoc that nuclear power can wreak. That is scary. What the fuck? That is scary. That doesn't look like a pig, but yeah, it's definitely deformed. All right. You ready for another one? Yeah. This is a fun game. I'm so glad we did this. I, um, I'm going to get this next one right. I'm this determined. is a fun one. Okay. All right. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. All right. This I'm one scared. is a message. For heaven's sake, catch me before I kill more. I cannot control myself. Hmm. If you had to guess, what do you think the context is of this photo? That they're like a serial killer? Yeah. Is this like the Zodiac killer? Mm, Close. (laughs) You ready? The Night Stalker guy? Nope. But it is a serial killer. Yeah. Obviously, I guess. I guess that. Ted Bundy. I don't know. (laughs) Definitely. A chilling message from the lipstick killer. Oh. For heaven's sake, catch me before I kill more. I cannot control myself, says the lipstick killer. On December 10th, 1945, William Herons left this note scrawled in lipstick on the wall of Francis Brown's Chicago apartment. Fucking scary. Just before writing this message, Herons brutally stabbed Brown to death and left a knife sticking out of her neck. Herons became known as the lipstick killer and took one more victim before police finally caught him six months later after this photo. Wow. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I've ever heard about him. Me either. But That's I thought that was scary. just scary as fuck. All right. Yeah. Ready for another one? I got a Beepy. couple more. Yeah, I like this. This is mm-hmm. fun. Oh, this one's a good one. All right. Let's see. This is my girl. <laughs> this is my Who girl. Who is that? Who is that? Let me zoom in on her face a little bit. I... <laughs> This looks like oddly familiar, but I also can't pinpoint what I'm means. almost sure that you would know who it is because there is a movie about her. Very it's not Eileen Warnos, I don't think. No. I don't know. All right, it looks ready? so familiar, but I can't pinpoint it. Yeah. Isn't that like the creepiest fucking photo though? Yeah, right. it's pretty terrifying. The exorcism of Annalise Michael. Michael oh. or Michael. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Annalise Michael was a devout Catholic teenager living a normal life with her parents in Germany in the late 1960s. But then she began blacking out at school before exhibiting increasingly strange behaviors like routinely convulsing, hallucinating, eating spiders, and even drinking her own pee. Mikkel claimed to be possessed by the devil and her parents soon came to the same conclusion. They ultimately subjected her to 67 exorcisms, none of which improved her condition before she died of malnutrition at age 23 in 1976, weighing just 68 pounds. Oh my gosh. Her story was so disturbing that it eventually inspired the 2005 horror film, The Exorcism of Emily Rose. Great movie. I gotta check that movie out because it's a great movie. I'm pretty sure is it's on it? Netflix. Yeah. Oh Ooh. my god, it's such a good movie. I'm about to watch that. It's really good. Yeah, that's what actually one of my favorite horror movies. You want yeah, one? it's a really sad story because it's like I knew the story, but I I don't think I had ever seen that specific picture, mm-hmm. which is probably why I couldn't pinpoint it. Like, it but that story is just so sad because like. I know her parents subjected her to all of that like the exorcisms and stuff and she was like harming herself Mm -hmm. and malnourished and then she ended up just like fucking starving to death and like she had epilepsy oh wow but they were blaming her seizures on being possessed Mm. that's awful which if you watch the exorcism of emily rose in that she is also um She's also epileptic and that whole movie is like they're recounting what happened and one of the priests that was like providing the exorcisms is on trial. And so it's Mm. all like an outside lens of the trial that's going on, but then they show like Mm. clips of her. Um, I feel like I've probably seen this movie on passing. I feel like my dad's probably made me watch it. 
it's like one of the most I think it's from the exorcism of Emily Rose. She's in like a barn and the, the horses start going nuts. And then she's like, starts spouting off. I am this person. I'm this person, like all of these demons names. And then she starts going one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six over and over. That and sounds over so again. familiar. Although yeah. I feel like I've seen a lot of exorcism movies. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen this picture. Yeah. I fell out of an airplane. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Um, all right. So since you kind of have already seen it, I'll just go ahead and read you. This is the final moments of Keith Sapsford. Keith Sapsford was just 14 years old when he was stowed away on an airliner. Mm -hmm. He fell out of the wheel well and plummeted to his death on February 22nd, 1970. His harrowing final moments were captured by photographer John Gilton, who happened to be casually snapping photos while waiting to board his flight. The Australian teenager had just run away from boarding school and longed to see the world. After sneaking onto the tarmac of Sydney International Airport, he hid inside of a Tokyo-bound plane, but fell to his death soon after takeoff. All my son wanted to do was see the world, his father, Charles Sapsford, later recalled. He had itchy feet. His determination to see how the rest of the world lives has cost him his life. Which is just... Then why did you put him in boarding school? <laughs> This photo is just bizarre. Like, yeah. what are the odds of someone just happening? I don't know. That's fucking crazy. But also, but yeah, like, he why hid inside in the wheel of one well. of the wheel wells, thinking that he was just gonna fucking remain in there from Australia to Tokyo. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, all right. sorry, but <laughs> it seems a little outlandish. That seems a little dumbassy. Yes, <laughs> that's some dumbassery. Like, no offense, what Keith. kind of dumbassery? But I don't think that that was a very smart idea. <laughs> sorry, R.I.P. But <laughs> I mean, it is sad. It's sad, and it's a very interesting picture. I feel like those types of pictures are pictures. very rare to be Call caught. Me Call me a sick fuck, but um, those are really <laughs> interesting photos. Yes. That's why we have this podcast, right? Exactly. Derby live streamed oh. part four. Shh, 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 shh. I thought that was me for a second. No, it's me. Damn it. Not again. All right. Okay, let's do like a Reddit story compilation. Okay. Okay. What's a story that you that you've heard oh, that still yes. gives you chills to this day? My friend told me about something that happened to her when she was younger, about eight or nine. She was walking home from school and got her key out to let herself into the house. Her single mom worked and came home later on weekdays. As she reached up to put her key in the door her mom opened it, in dressing gown having left home sick. Instead of greeting her, she looked straight past my friend and immediately said who are you? My friend turned around and a man in a long coat hurried back down the path and down the street. Being ill that day had potentially saved her daughter from something potentially oh, horrible happening to her. Terrifying. Very short one. Oh was talking to someone who was first on scene to the Virginia Tech massacre. He told me that although the sight of dead bodies was disturbing, what really stays with him was the sound of all the cell phones ringing from people trying to oh, contact them. Oh. Friend of mine is kind of a nature nerd, so she goes out on these long hikes and camps for a few days, by herself. So one time she does this and returns nope. safe and sound. Nothing happened. Hell she no. gets her disposable <laughs> camera developed, and there's three pictures of her sleeping in her tent. What's a story that you've heard? All oh, those are so oh. creepy. <laughs> so much so she gets back from a solo camping trip which she goes on all the time yeah and develops her camera and finds three pictures of herself sleeping yeah sleeping in her tent that shit i'm out <laughs> it's like the spongebob means like i am a head out, I, I'm a head out. <laughs> the virginia tech one kind of really got that's me awful me. that that hits really like because i can i can imagine stuff. that like in any sort of like mass shooting situation that mm. you would be hearing like lots of cell phones ringing or vibrating mm -hmm. and nobody there to answer them. Oh, creepy. All right. Let's see. Kind of fuckery is this? Here's another, um, another Reddit story. Compilation. Hey babe. Hey babe. This is not what I meant. Wait a minute. He gives, he gives Chris vibes. He's I giving me Chris, what's his last name? Vibes. Chris Watts. This is I not the video the that I vibes. meant to paste in the document. <laughs> I don't know what this video well, is. Now we got to fucking watch it. Okay. It's only then, eight seconds. Just to love me if I was fat. <laughs> just to love me if I was fat. Yeah, of course. But mom, you are fat. <laughs> I 
have yeah, never I've seen this that. video in my life. <laughs> Katie, I have no idea how this got into the Google Doc. I, I honestly, I have no idea. I've never seen that. Totally. Was he not just giving you Chris oh, yeah, he, vibes? Yeah, he was. Mm. Which <laughs> I could go ahead and do a couple more, but like, <laughs> how did that happen? I like posted. It's I'm, a mystery. That's what Connor and I used to say. We're like, it's a mystery. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mystery. That's like um, Ryan's world freaking on YouTube. Oh, I like forbid Sonny to watch it because I hate him. <laughs> Do you really? I also hate fucking Blippy. So Blippy is Do you really? I love Blippy. Blippy, I can't stand his voice. He's like <laughs> <laughs> him and his wife are, are pregnant now. Oh no. That's sweet. But he, his character, I'm gonna punch him in the face. <laughs> I feel like, like oh, Ryan's yeah. worse than Blippy though, because and River loves Ryan. Oh my god! Oh my god! I His think it's parents- so despicable that they make the kid work. Yes, like, I was gonna what? say it's so weird. He, like his parents exploit the absolute shit out of him. Let me look and him up for nobody. He's worth millions about. of dollars, and he's like, I know. Nine. He's like a fucking almost billionaire. Let me show a picture of him because I feel like nobody knows who we're talking about. Okay, we Ryan. like totally derailed, but like this is this is you interesting. <laughs> We could do a whole fucking episode about kids that have to go to work because oh, of Oh yeah. Excuse oh my me. gosh. Ryan and Cookie Swirl C is like two of River's like favorite YouTube channels. And he's of course little kid. He's older than this now, but yeah. He's got like merch in Target. He's got toys. He had a TV show on Disney Junior. Um, he's got a That's game. Wild. He's got an, a game in the app store called Tag with Ryan. Like, look, like all of these toys, the little panda, his name is Combo. And his dad okay. is the one who drew drew that. But like the all of these toys have this kid's face on them and they sell them at Target and they're outrageously expensive and they make millions and millions and millions of dollars. And they post videos. There's on no YouTube. way that this kid is going to grow up with any sense of reality. No, nope, not at all. No way. That's Blown. the weirdest thing about it. That's so weird. Kids channels freak me out, dude. I know. Then like nonsense of it all just blows me away sometimes. But oh kids are obsessed with it. I know. Um, and I is, like, I reality to watch TV Ryan, <laughs> but there's like, there's other channels where like, they're like family vloggers. And so I have her on YouTube kids on the, on the fire stick on the TV. Yeah. But sometimes there's like other kids that come up where, there's this one where it's like uh, two sisters and they almost look like twins, but one of them is like a year younger than the other. And I think their name are Sakura, S- mm. Sakura and something else. And there was one video where she was like, yes, yeah, Sakura, mom and dad love me more than you. And I, w- I snapped Aww. my head around. I was like, you better change that video. Cause I don't like We're it. Not watching then it. there's another, there's like another family, which I think that they're Mormons are like super fundamentalists and they've got like 16 kids. And I can't stand it. I'm like, it's, River, change it's not, it. It's not eight passengers, is it? No, no, no. Mm-mm. Love them. <laughs> <laughs> not really. No. Um, God, yeah, family channels. They freak me out. I don't like it. Freaky as fuck. Okay. Sorry, we like completely derailed, but Sorry, also guys. freaking oh. creepy. Uh. <laughs> Who is that? What the hell is that? Who is that? It's like a kid. Oh my god. And then there's nowhere in the bathroom that that thing could have gone. It's a very small. It looked like a man, like a really big haircut. Oh, wow. Creepy. All right. I'm going to do this several part one. Okay. This, I don't, again, I don't know how real this is, but it's creepy. My daughter being pulled under the bed, wife thinks she crawled, but she was clearly pulled by something. Oh, I got to mute it because there's Coco. This is a TV right here, and she's Coco watching Coco Melon. Melon. That's a huge <laughs> ass TV. I know, right? Wow. For like a, a toddler. Oh, God. What the hell? 
Now, I will say that it's not super clear whether she was pulled or she crawled under there. Which... It's looking like she crawled under there. Until then. Like oh, the yeah. Now end. you see her little foot dragging. And so the rest of this video, it was like her screaming. There's a second part to that video and it's her screaming. So I, I put there's a part two where the full one minute video is of the little girl screaming. And then this is the part three where the mom comes in and this was in the middle of the night oh, and she I lifts the bed and lets her out. out. I'm not going to play anymore because it is kind of faint, but there's still Coco Melon playing in the back. But her mom like comes in, lifts the bed so that she can come out and she comforts her because this is in the middle of the freaking night. And so this says, please tell me someone else hears that voice telling my daughter to lay down video cut short because I came in with my boxers to come get her. So right when she gets into the room, you'll hear a voice and you can look at the little girl and see that her mouth is not moving. So be quiet. Did you hear that? Yes. And look what she does. Immediately goes under the bed. Oh, I hate that so much. Oh my God. Unbelievable. All right. There's another one same channel same content okay this is a later video same night i just happened to go back and watch all of the video and what the dad is saying is that she could have moved by herself but it kind of looks like this leg gets pulled a little bit right here isn't that kind of weird that's so fucking weird i mean it's very like it's not a huge movement, but it doesn't look like she just slid herself down. I wish they would just leave her alone. This poor little girl, I know. Poor Isn't baby. Oh, these were all very interesting, and I feel like you can like really, really look at them. Okay, so this one, the play button's kind of in the way, but the kid is now sleeping in the parents' bedroom because they don't feel comfortable having her in her own room. Right. So here's the mom right here sleeping. This right here is the child. And this right here is a baby doll that she's sleeping with. And she's sleeping like almost perpendicular to her mom. And I think, yeah, I'm going to fast forward just a little bit. So first we want to look at the baby doll right here. I'm going to leave my cursor right under the baby doll. Moves. She puts her arm over it and then look at her shirt. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, her shirt gets pulled. And then you'll start to like hear some like EVPs. It's very faint. I could hear the EVPs over my phone better. And it kind of sounded like something was saying, hey, hey. And then also it sounded like something kind of laughed towards mm. the end. And this is a, cl- a more close-up version of the clip that we oh, just I see. Watched. That's my so here's the baby doll and here's the daughter. So we'll see the baby doll move first. Also, there's no audio on this one. Baby doll moves. She puts her arm over it. And now look at her shirt right here. (gasps) What a creepy. And that's basically it since the since there's no sound 
And what I wanted to say is that the husband and wife from this TikTok account, now they're going through a divorce. Really? Which, yes. Hmm. What this makes me think of uh, is something that's called a PK manifestation. And that's basically a psychokinesis. Is that what it's called? Where you can move things, control things with your brain. Mm-hmm. It's called a PK manifestation, which is like a type of poltergeist, hmm. which typically happens with kids. I don't know if you believe in, in something like this, but it's basically children who have psychokinesis and can move things with their own brain, but they don't necessarily realize it. And that they have a lot of these like really big emotions or they have a lot of trauma. They're going through a lot of stuff in their life. So then their emotions manifest into poltergeist activities. And basically Mm -hmm. they morph into their own entity and they create a poltergeist haunting a poltergeist, you know, like activity in their own home. But specifically when it comes to this sort of situation, this is just my assumption. uh, assumption. I don't know if this is true. Mm -hmm. This is just what I get from looking at it, especially since children are involved and it seems very targeted. They didn't post any videos of the husband or wife getting targeted. It's Mm -hmm. all about the kid, the baby. Yeah. Yeah. So for me, it was like, this kind of looks like some sort of PK manifestation, which is really interesting. And you don't see a lot of stuff about those online. I don't think. Mm-hmm. No, I've never uh, heard of that, but I do believe in, you know, energies being manipulated into something. Right. So, and it's always unintentional, mm-hmm. but I found it interesting that the husband and wife are now going through a divorce, a divorce. So like if tensions were high with her parents, she has very little, maybe two or three. Yeah. And so there could be tensions going on. Also, this is just me speculating. I'm not saying anything about these parents yeah, yeah, or this yeah, family yeah. at all, but tensions could be high. They could be arguing and it could be causing issues for this little girl. And she mm-hmm. has these abilities that she doesn't know that she has, but she is also going through this emotional turmoil because of her parents And so her emotions and her energy is manifesting as this separate entity that is not human or it's also not a demon. It's like a a big, imagine like all of your emotions and your energy were like pressed into a big ball and then eventually they go. Right. That's what a PK manifestation would be. That makes sense. But yeah, I guess with all the turmoil going in her house, it's like she doesn't know what to do with her energy. Yeah, I felt yeah. like that was really interesting. And it's also so sad for her. I know. Poor babies. Yeah. Do you want to do your last one? Yeah, I and do. We you can do our announcement. I do. I do. All right. Yes. Let me see. Let's go to my Google Chrome. Oh, I'm just going to look and see if we got any comments. Itch my nose. I lost everything because I accidentally clicked out. So give me a thigh. Oh no. Oh no. All right. Oh no, my Google Talk. It's gone. Gone. <laughs> All right. Scrolling down to Katie Town. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a lot of fun this episode. It's me been a too. Lot more it's laid been back very and relaxed and chill. What like what a good way to like send off into Christmas week where we're just going to like chillax. I am refusing to allow myself to do anything podcast wise until the very end of Christmas break. Yes. Good for you. Stop. Good for you. Seriously. Stop. I wish I could harness the power of scheduling content, but I just, I can't, can't, my brain doesn't work that way as much as I've tried. (laughs) Oh my God. Even if I do, I'm like sitting there waiting for it to come up on my like news feed. Yep. Same. Oh, there's 15 minutes left. Oh, 13 minutes left. <laughs> yep. I'm like that. Oh, I, I know. I know. <laughs> That's why I saved it for the last. It's only you a minute. You literally took like, my weakness from YDFU knowing that I hate these and said, this is what I'm going to put. Like, this is the one. Oh, I hate it. Just hanging by one hand. I hate it. seen that one before what i didn't watch this point? whole video so this is very unnerving okay what is the fucking reason why look at that one guy just <laughs> is he gonna jump ah! 
Oh, I got goosebumps. Oh, that's not. Oh my god. What? Is that like the Hoover Dam? They got rock climbing stuff on the I Hoover Dam? <laughs> <laughs> the fucking rock. No. <laughs> I. Ugh. I hate these. God, ones. I, I haven't seen this far into the video. I hate this. Katie, what's your freaking biggest fear? Because I'm gonna, I'm gonna look it up. Do you not like spiders? Because I'm about to look something up. Actually, I, that'd I don't be bad mind for me spiders. Too. Uh, what do I hate? I don't know. Thanks. Mice? Well, I, I don't mind mice. Oh, I thought you said mice. Snakes. Oh, snakes. See, I don't mind snakes. Oh. Uh, uh. <laughs> I get like this weird. You have to be like, neck. something's wrong with you. Ooh. That like you have to have like a personality disorder or something. Yeah. See, and like what I had said when Danny had like posted a similar sort of compilation when we did like the YDFU episode, I was like, "What is the reason? Why do you have such what dangerous the hobbies, reason, bitch?" Yeah, that's how I feel whenever <laughs> I'm I watch glad this. that you know that reference because most what people. Was the reason? Most people, they know like all the Cardi, um, the Cardi oh, references, and that's like one of the lesser known ones. Yeah. What was mm-hmm. the reason? <laughs> parts of the internet that I feel like, yeah, I feel like nobody else knows. And I'll be quoting it, and people are like, uh-huh. <laughs> every time. Anyway, guys, we have a big announcement to make for you yes. guys. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just jump right into it. So I'm going to just show you guys a little video that I made um explaining a little bit so let me put a timestamp here because i'm gonna want to just jump right into it timestamp 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 <sighs> all right i'm gonna go back to sharing my screen we're gonna go to google docs la 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 wow we, we made really good time yeah i'll i'll say <laughs> oh shit i'm not gonna screen share yet hold on guys i'm like actually in <laughs> youtube studio right now <laughs> don't do that oops whoopsie <laughs> oops <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's take a little look. Take a little I don't look. care that you broke your elbow. I'm just going to say it. I don't <laughs> care that you broke your elbow. Where is it? Oh, no, I can't find my video that I made for you guys. It must be just in YouTube studio. Okay. And then just go to your videos. And then it should show up even if it's unlisted. Oh, no. Okay. Excuse me. <laughs> I don't care. I've already burped twice. <laughs> I should have burped straight into the mic. I should have. Like, it. <laughs> if this is a burp zone. All right, here we go. All right, guys. Here's our, our announcement. Uh-huh. Oh, I did I the mic away from my face? Did I uh, share sound? I don't think I did. Oh no! Our announcement. It has no sound. Ooh. Give me a second, guys. I'm gonna make sure I'm sharing sound. I don't wanna. Okay, I am. I am so excited. I am. I am. Yay. All right. Here it is. Big announcement. Have you ever encountered a side of the road stranger that turned into a near death experience? Know an unusual amount of information about the possibility of life after death? Do you spend countless hours upon hours of your free time over the years researching medical malpractices in today's day and age and days of the past? What about your interests or better yet experiences in a cult like religion? What was that like for you? Did you grow up in a home infested with paranormal activity? Is there a man at your window every night that just won't go away? Do you spend a lot of time in the woods and come across plenty of unexplained items, signs of peculiar life, or something much more sinister? Do you possess information that could possibly rock someone's world if they just knew certain facts about the topics of aliens, the government, or any other convincing conspiracies? Two Ghouls Podcast is excited to announce the launch of a new segment on our channel, Spooky Sofa Sessions, featuring you, the listener. Every Sunday at 5.30 p.m. Eastern, we're getting personal with our listeners via in-person, over the phone, or over Zoom video chat interviews, and we're opening up the floor for you to present your best research topics in the realm of spook. True personal experiences, compelling conspiracies, or sketchy historical facts are all welcome on this show. These sessions can be anonymous and done by Sam or I, or you can present it yourself. It's entirely up to you. 
just email hello.spook33 at gmail.com to pitch us your next big idea and it could end up on spooky sofa sessions. These sessions will not be live streamed. They will be recorded one day out of the week that works for both parties and uploaded on Sundays at 5.30 p.m. Eastern. We look forward to hearing from you. Again, email hello.spook33 at gmail.com. We can't wait to be shocked by what you have to tell us and the rest of the two ghouls listeners. Yay! Yay! That was it, guys. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. That's a new segment on our show. It's called Spooky Sofa Sessions again, and it's all about you, the listener. So yes. we're going to be looking forward to receiving emails or DMs or really anything, pitching us your best ideas on anything that was mentioned or more. I mean, we'll we'll look at it and we'll let you know if it was something that we can put on the show because we're really we're willing to listen to really anything. Yes. Um, but yeah, the first episode of that is already live. It's actually linked in the description Yay. of this show. I will um, put it as public. It's unlisted right now. So if you want to listen to it right this second, it's in the description of this show. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited. We had Rebecca come on um, Monday and she came in and recorded something all about cannibalism. So if you guys want to, want to listen to cannibalism stories, she did so much research. I was just blown away by what she Her had. information was insane was she did not so yeah well. she did great and so thanks for becca for coming on and you know yes thanks becca first episode that was awesome so yeah um anyways i guess that was really it i guess we'll go ahead and plug our socials we'll show you guys our merch and then we'll head out we'll call yes. it a day yeah okay. yeah all right well you share the socials while i go ahead and show the merch here let me get okay i'm stuff. not gonna read anything because i know our socials so you can follow me on Instagram at uh, Samantha Rain with an E7. Mm-hmm. You can follow Katie at uh, Hey, I'm Katie Ryan, K I T I R Y A N, or at hello.spooky uh-huh. on Instagram. And then we also have a Facebook page for Two Ghouls Podcasts podcast which is the number two ghouls podcast you can search that and find our facebook page and we also have a new private um facebook group that you can join and interact with us during the week you can post any sort of spooky content that you find there also you could give us recommendations for what you want to see on the podcast there we try to interact with people regularly on a daily basis in the facebook group yes all of that is linked in the description of this show. So you guys will be able to just easily just click right down there. Um, here's our merch store. We have lots of fun designs. Merch. We have a skeletonette collection in multiple choices here. Me and Katie's um, I know it looks like it just comes in orange and, le- and like navy blue, but that's not the case. Um, if you click on these, it'll give you a multiple... It'll give you a variety of options to choose from colors. We have tote bags, $3 stickers. We have long sleeve of the skeletonette. We also have this one, which is my husband's design. So um, it's cute. The Un Trigatillion. He's actually getting that this week. Uh, we have the <laughs> I'm with Spoopy design. Um, we have the iconic collection and stickers, t-shirts, long sleeve, all in a different I've got the long array. sleeve of that one. Yeah, she has this one. And what color did you get? You got, I got it here. in the heather gray. Yeah. And it's so soft. It's such a good quality t-shirt. Yes. These are all great quality. Um, it's insane. The products. quality of the, yeah. of the clothes. I love, I love our merch. So if you guys want to support the podcast by wearing some cute merch or having a cute little muggy here, this one's my favorite. Um, <laughs> this is the two in the air collection for the two girls, two girls podcast. <laughs> um, yeah, but that's our merch store. Oh, I will also cute. link that in the description of this video, but yeah, that is it for us guys. We're going to be yes. out of here. Thanks for joining us. It was a good, I had a good time. Oh, this one was a fun one. Yeah. I like this. Um, I do want to say we're out next week. So oh, that's through, right. through this for this Wednesday, this upcoming Wednesday to the next Wednesday, we will be gone. We're taking a break yep. um, from here till uh, what the 29th? 29th. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll see you guys back on Wednesday, the 29th. We're excited. We need this break. Yeah. We're exhausted. <laughs> yes. If yeah. you want to interact with us, come join the Facebook group. We'll be, yep. we'll be we'll there. We'll still be there. Yeah. We'll still be <laughs> hanging out in the group and in the page. We'll just be posting regular posts like we usually do. But um, hopefully we'll be able to get some gaming in. Yeah. Right, we'll definitely be gaming. Well. If you guys want to check out our gaming channel, that is also on our channel as well. But yeah, that's it for now, guys. Yay! Thanks for joining. Yay! It was a good Yay! episode. I had fun. Me thanks too. Anyway. Uh, thanks anyway. Thanks again. <laughs> thanks See anyway. you later. <laughs>